Zoe and Sassafras, Dragons and Marshmallows. So in chapter one, if you remember, Zoe and Sassafras found millions of bugs and they created a circus for the bugs. So let's see what happens in chapter two. Chapter two, the mystery photo. Sassafras and I burst into my mom's office. She jumped and quickly hid the photo under a pile of papers before smiling at us. Mom, Sassafras found a billion roly polies under a rock in our yard. And I wasn't sure what to do with them, but then I used my thinking goggles. And we made a circus with a tightrope, everything. Can you come see, please? That sounds wonderful, Zoe. I'm almost finished getting ready for this trip. Give me five more minutes. I shrugged and leaned on her desk while Sassafras rolled through my legs. I was trying to act like I didn't mind her leaving for a trip, but maybe I felt a little nervous about not seeing her for a whole week. I was so curious about the photo. She'd stash away so quickly. And she packed, as she packed, I poked at her papers and scooched them around. Whoa, what was that? A purple glow came from under a pile of papers. I pushed the top papers aside and gasped. In the photo, it was my mother. When she was around my age, she was grinning with two missing teeth. With a purple frog on her head that was glowing. I almost dropped the photo. Mom glanced over her shoulder. What is it? I held out the photo with a trembling hand. This photo, the frog, it's glowing. How? My mom spun around so fast that some of the paper she was holding fell and scattered on the ground. You see Pip? Pip? Who is Pip? What on earth was going on? Oh, oh boy. Now we got a mystery on our hands. So what I want you guys to do today is think about what you think Pip is. And either write me a sentence or draw a picture telling me what you think Pip is. Hello, hello everyone. So welcome to Morning Announcements. Today is Thursday, March the 7th. So that is the question, who do you think Pip is? As we are looking around, you guys are getting involved with our amazing One School, One Book. Shout out to Miss Latoka's class. They did a bug journal book yesterday. I saw people outside looking for bugs, exploring about bugs, because we talked about bugs and what they mean. So let's keep it moving as we are moving forward. Let's all take a deep breath in. All right, all right, all right. A lot going on, but smile, take a deep breath and relax. Um, special, everything that's going on. Sometimes we get fatigued with everything around this time. The weather's getting nice, but guess what? We're still in school and we have to breathe. All right. High five, elbow touch. Let's find a way to connect. Activity to connect. Our goal. What are you doing today? Completing your work, putting the materials back, breathing. A lot of things going on, but we all need to take a deep breath, um, and use encouraging words. All right. Wishing each other well. You never know. I say this over and over. You never know what people are going through. Never assume that people are just want to be mean or, you know, they're just trying to bother you. We all have to learn how to use our words and communicate. Teaching staff, I will develop and support my students to grow at MMA. Students, I can try and work hard to grow every day. All right. Keep up with that. I ready. Stay focused. You're not playing on the computers. You're working to pass those lessons. The power of love. I can't stress this enough. Me and Miss Shanae yesterday saw the building again. Some of us are really struggling. We got to get it together and see the best in each other. It's getting warm outside. People getting anxious. Um, there may be some fatigue going on, but we all can't fall apart. Teachers, staff, parents, or students. We have to look for the power in things as it relates to our intention, positive intention. We all know that people have different ways in expressing their emotions, but together, there's no, like, this is a requirement here. That means this is what we do here at MMA. We must work together, all right? Integrity, we talked about in February and March, we're talking about persevering and pushing through and making good choices. It's hard sometimes, but we have to learn how to push through. Maintain respect, make good choices, and always be safe. 
You should know what that means. We're all struggling with this this week. Um, we really need to get back on task, especially my older kids. Have a seat. Get your work done. We all got work to do in the lunchroom. If you don't like somebody, that's okay. Use words. Let that person know how you feel. But we all got to take a deep breath and get along. It's okay to tell the person, hey, remember in our conscious discipline, I don't like it when you do that. Teachers, you all should have a peace corner, a corner where kids can take a, a deep breath, a refocus. Learn how to use your words, all right? That is our focus. And make sure you take care of our school classrooms, the bathroom in the hallway, and when we outside, all right? Lots of work. We got to keep moving. Got to keep going in this. And again, I don't want to see cell phones. Let's make it happen. All right, those brag tags. Let's keep it moving, teachers. We It's easy to find a negative behavior. Let's start po um, shining a light on all the positive behaviors. It's hard to see students melt down because you're saying things over and over, but it's it's so harder to reward the kids that are doing what's right. Let's reward those kids and pass out that positivity today. You see something, you say something, school safety. We have one more week to go. Again, grades are turned in on this Friday. Today you have pizza, fruit, and you have uh, salad, excuse me, with milk. Events coming up. Today is Tacky Thursday. Hopefully you wore something silly, mishmash. Tomorrow you can bring your blanket and we can read together. We have started our read, read, read. You should be doing your reading logs every night. And again, you should be asking guest readers to come in. We want parents and guests to come in to read this month. And we're challenging you to go to each other's classrooms or do partner reading in class all month. You should be doing it every day anyways, but let's really get going on this reading. One school, one book, one school. You all have started this again. We are looking forward to seeing you guys move forward. Cannot wait to hear your stories and insight on this book series with Zoe and our amazing cat and all her animals as it relates to her scientific lessons. All right, the Girl Scout presents Mother Daughter Tea on April the 13th from 2 to 5. Please join us. Cost is $15. Happy, happy birthday. Happy, happy birthday. All right, everybody, we've been doing those three minute clips with the book so that you are reading along and learning new ways of understanding how people work together. Let's have a good day and make some good choices. Bye-bye.